Several years ago, I wanted to build a boat, but was frustrated with a set of plans I had purchased from a well-known source. A friend of mine told me about Harold Payson's Instant Boats. I borrowed the book from the library, and in just one weekend, I had a boat. Since that time, I've constructed or helped construct at least 20 elegant punts, an 8-foot pram from the plans found in the book. The Elegant Punt is an agile boat that can be rowed or sailed by one person or a group of people. It can be easily constructed by young and not so young using simple tools. A hammer, small block plane, a framing square, scroll saw, clamps, and a bevel. It takes a lot of clamps to construct this or any other boat. I made my own for about 10 cents each from scrap 1x2 fur and quarter inch bolts. To begin construction, you need to transfer the drawings from the plans onto the plywood. Draw lines 12 inches apart on the plywood and measure from the edge of the wood to mark the place where the gunnel and the chine cross as indicated on the drawing. Place a nail in each place where the lines intersect. Bend a thin piece of wood called a batten around all the nails, then draw or strike a line. You only need to measure one side of the boat. You can cut out the first side, then flip it over and use it for a template for the other side. Transferring lines to the bow and stern transom, as well as the thwart, is a pretty straightforward process. After the two sides, transom and thwart, are cut, the transom and thwarts are framed with 1x2 lumber to add strength and rigidity. There is a slight quarter inch bevel that needs to be planed on the forward side of the bow transom and the aft side of the stern transom prior to assembly of the side planks to the transoms. All the parts are ready for the assembly of the hull itself. The components are laid out on the floor in their approximate positions. Two sides are attached to the thwart using glue and screws. A rope or strap is wrapped around the hull and tightened to align the side planks with the bow and stern transoms which are then glued and screwed in place. Now it's time for the most difficult part of constructing the elegant punt, bending and attaching the chines. After several broken sticks, I learned to use 10 foot lengths of 1x2 that is ripped down to 1 inch by 5 eighths of an inch. The extra 2 feet provides good hand holds for making the severe bend in the wood without having to steam it. I have found the most success bending the chines with the help of one or two other people. I clamp the boards at one end of the boat and have another person bend them into position when I clamp the boards to the plywood. It is important to bend both chines at the same time in order to keep the boat symmetrical. After it is glued and clamped in place, the chines are screwed from the outside at the transoms and thwart and screwed or nailed to the plywood from the inside. The most difficult step is followed by the most fun part. The chines are planed so they mate flat with the bottom plank. This precise process takes a bit of time and patience. After the chines are planed, the boat is checked to ensure it is square and the transom are level prior to applying the bottom plank. A sheet of plywood is laid on the bottom of the boat, scribed, then rough cut leaving about a quarter to a half inch all the way around. The plank is glued and nailed in place, then flush planed to the chines. It's time to flip the boat over and admire your work for a few minutes. The gunnels are applied in much the same manner as the chines. The bend is not nearly as severe as the chines, making the process somewhat easier.
The Elegant Plan has two keels made from 1x2 boards that are glued and screwed to the transom and center frame from the outside and to the plywood bottom plank from the inside. Fillets on the inside joints are optional. I found these to add quite a bit of strength to the hull. Additional finishing includes adding seats, backing blocks for rudder and or motor, sanding, and a coat of paint or varnish. A simple sail rig can be added to the Elegant Punt. I have found the boat sails quite adequately with a Lego Mutton rig and leeboard. It is very easy, inexpensive, and efficient to cut the sail from a plastic tarp as suggested in Phil Bolger's book. The sail, per plans, is a bit large for the winds in my area, so I sometimes cut the sail plan down by 25-35%. to 35%. The mast and boom are made from 2x2 two two lumber and planed down per the specifications on the plans. I have found it to be most satisfying to be on the water in the boat that I constructed myself. It also gives me great pleasure to help other folks construct their own boats so they too can have that great feeling of messing about on the water with a boat they constructed with their own hands. I hope you have found this video helpful or at least entertaining. What's that? You can show me whichever is your best side. Uh. <laughs>